Yo, what's up guys, Jerry here. I've got the final version of the project opened up. I wanted to show you a couple more things in it. So starting off with the first sound you hear in the song, it's an ARP that I uh, resampled using grain delay. Sounds like this on its own. That's kind of a main theme throughout the whole song, which I'll show you more of later on. But then leading to the first verse, we've got this. There's a lot of ambient stuff going on here. We got the vocal chops that Zidian did. Then there's another ARP with grain delay. It sounds like this on its own. And that kind of sounds like bubbles floating in the air is how I like to think about it. Then there's a pad, a whistle that I made in contact that comes in a little later. A choir that I made in contact and bounced the audio. It sounds like this. And then one cool thing I want to show you guys is the roads here. So it's two different layers that I uh, made. First one using Contact called the Vintage Rhodes XL. And the other one I did in FL Studio using FL Keys. So I did that by rewiring MIDI into FL Studio so I'd be able to use that VST. So I click it, you can see here, I've got the FL Studio Rhodes and then the MIDI out being sent back into Ableton. The reason I did that is because here on the Rhodes MIDI channel, there are two different MIDI devices that I used to make it a little more natural sounding. So we have random length and uh, timing, and then we have random velocity. So I used the same MIDI input to make them cohesive. They sound like this on their own. So moving over the build, the drums in section are kind of cool. That's where the swing and the groove really gets introduced. So uh, soloing the drums from right before the drop, this is how they sound. Quick little Easter egg. I use that cash register sample in like half my songs. So be sure to look out for that. Then going to the drop, I'll play it as a whole really quick. So when Zidian first sent me this project, most of the synths sounded similar, but he had a, a bass sound instead of an 808. So I went and changed it to an 808 because I thought it would be a little more fitting. And then uh, to solo out the synths, they sound like this on their own. There's one patch that we argued about a lot and we finally came to an agreement on, but it's this one here, the kind of metallic sounding one. And uh, without the redux, which causes that, you can see here I automated it. But if I take that off, it sounds very resonant and kind of thin. 
So uh, moving to the post drop section where we got the Hammond lead. That sounds like this on its own. In context. So, so there's a lot of different stuff that I automated here, like the Yoman preset, as well as some attacks and tunings on the envelopes, and then also a few different macros in Serum. Additionally, one cool thing that I want to talk about is here we've got this kind of valley section that sounds like this. So I did that by taking a Pro Q3 and I made two peaks and then a notch. And then in that section, I went and I automated them. So I made it in a group and then uh, configured it like this with these parameters here on the left side and automated the first macro making the peaks and notches move around like this. So I'm going to freeze this up before my PC lags again. So after the Hammond solo, we reintroduced some of the verse elements and uh, that's where the vocals come back in. So shout out to Acacia for doing such an awesome job on this one. You want it all concrete, life's no guarantee. And something cool I want to mention really quick is the formant bends that I did. So I did this by taking the auto tune plugin and uh, if I unfreeze it, you can go in here and um, if you take the throat length, you can't automate this, but I just resampled it and moved it by hand like this to get like the pitch bend kind of thing. Um, I would have used Little Alter Boy, but sometimes I have phasing issues with Little Alter Boy, but it sounds like this. Guess we must be doing something right. So that then leads into the second verse, which is pretty similar to the first. It sounds like this. You're not my type. Don't mean that they're right. And then that eventually builds in the second drop. So. Zidian made the synths and everything kind of the idea of the first drop, so I added some variation in the second by using those uh, R. And that's where I got that intro sound as well. So, uh, second drop sounds like this. So, what I did was uh, rearrange some of the synths here and then I added these uh, grain delay ARPs. So, it's kind of the big theme, like I said. So then, in this part, there's this filter transition, like this. And that takes the idea from the first drop and combines it with the second part of drop two, which leads into the outro. So thanks for watching and drop a comment below if you have any questions. Peace.